Hello everyone, this is Soul Sweat with Julia and I am Julia and here today I have a yoga lattice flow for you. Uh, if you have two blocks, please grab those two blocks. If you don't have two blocks, I am going to ask that you have soup cans um, or potentially water bottles, but I do want something that is going to be a little bit more sturdy for you for when we're moving. So if you can have soup cans, if you don't have soup cans, maybe books. I know that sometimes the water bottles can get a little bit rickety. So let's go ahead and grab those things and get started on our backs today in a soup to And we lay all the way back onto your mat. Take the soles of the feet together. Let the knees fall open. And take one hand to the heart, one hand to the navel. Take a few moments just to slow down and settle inward. As you are settling in, checking in with yourself, how are you doing today? What are you feeling? Where are you feeling it? Let's check in with our breath by taking a nice deep inhale in to fill the breath all the way up to the top. Anything you need to let go of, big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Let's do that again. Inhale, fill your breath all the way up to the top. One more time, release, let go, big sigh. On your next breath, inhale, fill all the way up to the top and then pause. Release the air back out through your nose. As you bring awareness to your breath moving in and out through your body right here, right now. And as you're here breathing, I want to set an intention today to stay curious, to explore, explore your body, explore your practice, explore what happens in the body. See if you can discover something new, learn something new about yourself. Maybe it's more internal, emotional, or maybe it's in your physical body, but just becoming aware and exploring your body in ways that you normally wouldn't, your mind in ways that you normally wouldn't, and your breath in ways that you normally wouldn't. So as you bring this awareness internal, internally right now, I want you to take one more nice deep inhale in to fill the breath all the way up to the top. One more time, nice big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. On your next breath, take the hands outside the knees. Draw the knees in towards one another, hug around the shins, and gently rock side to side, release your lower back. Let's take some circles with the tops of your knees in one direction. And sweep those circles back the other direction. And on your next breath, wrap the hands behind the hamstrings. Start to rock yourself forward and backward along the length of your mat, massaging your spine. Let's pick up some momentum here. And rock yourself up and over onto your hands and your knees. Once you get there, wrist line up underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips. And on your next inhale, lift the heart forward through the shoulders, tailbone to the sky. Take a moment, pause in cow pose. Roll your shoulder blades down the back. Slide the heart through the gates of the shoulders. And take one more inhale here. And as you exhale, tuck the chin, dome through the spine. And take a moment here, pull the belly button up a little bit higher, let the head hang a little bit closer towards the earth. Inhale, heart lifts, tailbone rises, making your way back through cow pose. Exhale, tuck the chin, push the earth away, cat pose. From here, I want to come back through neutral, crawl the hands forward about three to six inches, and find some figure eight circles. So as you inhale, glide the heart forward. Exhale, big sweep of the hips around and back. Inhale, heart glides forward. Exhale, swoop the hips to the back of the mat. And keep going with that. Try to find the four corners of your mat here as you move. Keep your breath flowing with your movement. And you're rolling out the mat on the way. Take a couple more rounds in this direction. And then the next breath circle is back the other direction.
take a couple more rounds of breath here. Again, how can you be curious? How can you explore rather than just moving mindlessly, moving mindfully? On your next breath, come back in through center. Keep the hands planted down, tuck the toes under, lift the knees, come into high plank pose, top of a push up. And separate all 10 fingers nice and wide as you flatten all 10 knuckles into the earth. And push into the palms of the hands. Slide the heart forward, lengthen the tailbone back. Beautiful. Let's take an inhale here. As you exhale, drop both heels to the left side. And get a stretch through that right side body. As you start to fire up those left obliques. Inhale, bring it back in through center. And exhale to the other side. Keep the heart gliding forward as you push the earth away. Keep those shoulders stacked over the wrists. Take one more breath here. Inhale, bring it back in through center. Exhale, hips up, chest back, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, walk it out, bend the right knee, send the left heel down. Bending into the left knee, send the right heel down. And continue to pedal out your dog, walk out your dog, maybe bending your elbows, just working out kinks in your body. As you're swaying the hips here side to side, gazing underneath the shoulders, the arms. On your next breath, inhale high up onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the heels down towards the earth. Once again, inhale high up onto the toes. Exhale, press the heels down to the mat. Take a moment, find stillness in your dog as you root down through all 10 fingers, all 10 knuckles. Pop the forearms up, little micro bend to those elbows, bicep spiral in towards the ears, forward towards the world in front of you, triceps to the outer wall and the world behind you. As you feel that expansion through the upper back, draw the navel in. Lift the front ribs to the back of the body. We'll slip those sit bones up a little higher to the sky. Put a bend in the knees and drop the heels towards the earth. Hide them behind your second toe. Feel nice and strong here in your entire body. Take one more breath like this. Next breath, take an inhale. As you exhale, crawl the hands back to meet the feet at the back of your mat. And then get to the back. A little bend into the knees, grab opposite elbows, and let the crown of the head hang heavy. Maybe you're finding a little rock side to side. And switch the crossing of the elbows, maybe a little bump of the torso forward and back. Let's let the hands come down to the ground. Inhale, half lift onto the fingertips. Put a bend into your right knee. Cup the earth with your right fingertips. Left them into the left hip. You are more than welcome to grab a block underneath this right hand if you want it, if you need it. Keep that bend in the right knee. Continue to rotate the body, that chest open from the waistline. Sacrum nice and flat. Once you have that, extend your left arm up to the sky. Take an inhale, lengthen through the spine. Once again, exhale, twist open a little bit further. Keep the body weight shifting slightly forward so you're not rocked back in the heels. One more breath here. Let's circle that left hand down to the mat. Put a bend into that left knee. Cupping the earth with the fingertips. Right thumb hooks into that right hip crease. Now pull that right hip crease back. Again, feel the sacrum flat as you grow the spine long. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist it open. From there, extend that right arm up when you're ready. Inhale, grow longer. Exhale, twist open a little bit further. Stay with it one more breath here. Next breath, circle that right hand down and around. Let the head hang. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen, Arda. Exhale, walk the hands back out, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. From here, inhale, right leg drifts to the sky. Turn the toes out to the side, bend the knee, open up the hip. And circle that knee out in one direction. And sweep those circles back the other direction. Lengthen the right leg out. Toes turn down. Take an inhale. Exhale, right knee into the nose. 
Step the foot in between the hands. Soften that left knee all the way down to the mat. Grab your blocks. Inhale, dip the hips, lift the heart, low lunge. Exhale, shift the hips back straight into your right leg, Ardha Hamana. Inhale, rebend that right knee, pull the heart through. Exhale, hamstring stretch. One more time like this. Inhale, bending deep into your right knee. And exhale as you lengthen your right leg out. Inhale, glide the heart forward. Pull the heart towards the toes. Pausing in that Ardha Hamana. Hamanasana, and as you exhale, pour the heart over the thigh, breathing into it. Bring it to the back of that right leg. Inhale, once again, grow the spine a little longer. And as you exhale, melt down a little bit deeper. Take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, lift the heart. Pivot around towards the side. Take your blocks with you, or at least one of your blocks, as we make our way into gate pose. One block that comes outside that right leg, the other block outside your left leg. Send those arms up to the sky, point through your right toes. Take an inhale here, drop your right hand down, flip the left arm up and over. Plug that left shoulder down the back away from the ear. As you rotate your right armpit forward and the left up towards the sky. Take one more breath as you breathe into the side body. Inhale, rise it up. Drop your right hand or your left hand down. Send that right arm up and over. Plug that right shoulder down the back, away from the ear. And you can always drop the blocks down a level or two, depending on what is appropriate for you. I do want you to keep length on both sides of the body here. One more breath like this. Let's find a little flow here. Drop the right hand down, left arm up and over. Left hand down, right arm up and over. Moving side to side. Well, thinking about the spaces in between, staying curious about the transitions as we move. Anything else you can explore right now. Take one more breath like this. Hmm. On your next breath, bring it all the way back around. Pivot to face forward. Take that block with you. As you come back through, re-bend the right knee. Rise up, low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Right hip pulls back, left hip forward, and then lift the frontal hip bones up to the chin. Draw the navel in and keep the front ribs softening to the back of the body as you take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, kiss the palms together overhead. Exhale, left hand down, right arm lifts, low lunge twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist it open. Breathe here as you hug that right knee into center for one more breath. Next breath, tuck your left toes under, float that left knee. Stay in your low lunge twist for a few more rounds of breath. Just getting a little deeper into that hip flexor and your psoas here. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist it open. Keep that left leg active, hip even with the left hip, even with the right hip as you take one more breath. Next breath, circle the right hands down and around. Plant through your palm, step that right foot back, high plank. Shoulders over fingertips, lower all the way down to the mat. When you get to the bottom, Untuck the toes, bring the tops of the feet down. Hands walk back to line up alongside your upper ribs. Press into the tops of the feet, inhale, heart lift, low cobra. Pull the shoulders down the back, slide the heart through. And exhale, lower down. This time, inhale, press into the feet, lift the heart, come up for that low cobra pause. Float your hands, send them to your lower back, interlace the knuckles. Draw the knuckles towards the wall behind you. We'll roll the shoulders down the back away from the ears. Half shell and bots in here. Take one more breath as you inhale up a little higher, a little longer. As you exhale without flopping down, lower down. Take the gaze over to the left. This time, switch the grip on the interlace opposite thumb on top. Press into the feet and inhale, rise it up for that half shell and bhasana. Shins are lifted, legs are active. The tops of the feet are grounded on the mat. Take one more inhale here. And as you exhale, soften back down, turn the gaze to the right. 
bring the hands, line them once again with the upper rib cage. This time as you press in on the tops of the feet, feet are hip distance, lengthen the arms, come into upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha. Roll the shoulder blades towards one another and slide the heart through. One more inhale here. Exhale, hips up, chest back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Next inhale, left leg drifts to the sky. Turn the toes out to the side, bend the knee, open up the hip, and circle it out in one direction. And take those circles back the other direction. Keep that left armpit squaring towards the earth. Inhale as you lengthen the left leg out. Exhale, left knee into the nose, and step the foot through. Melt that right knee all the way down to the mat. Grab your blocks. Inhale, dip the hips, lift the heart, low lunge. Exhale. Shift the hips back, straighten your left leg. Inhale, re-bend the left knee, pull the heart through. Exhale, hamstring stretch. And one more time like this, inhale, low lunge. And exhale, Ardha Hamanasana. Pausing right here, inhale, grow the spine long. Toes pull towards the base, heel pressing forward. Exhale, fold it in, breathe. Into the back of your left hamstring. Once again, inhale, lift the heart, and exhale, melt in a little bit deeper. Next breath, inhale, lift the heart, pivoting around towards the side. Coming into that gate pose, point through your left toes, bring one block outside that left leg, one outside that right hip, rise the arms up, inhale. As you exhale, drop the left hand down, right arm up and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist it open from the waistline. And plug that right shoulder down the back away from the ear. And you keep that left side body just as long as the right side body. Take one more breath like this. Next breath, rise it through center and drop it over to the other side for that modified Vashisasana stretch. Send that left arm up and overhead. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, open. Continue to plug that left shoulder down the back. As you spread out the pinky finger down, thumb finger up. One more breath here. Let's blow it out. Left hand down, right arm up and over. Pivot into the side body. Right hand down, left arm up and over. Keep all breathing into it. See each time if you can stretch a little bit longer, like an accordion stretching out. Last breath here. On your next breath, make your way back around. Take the block with you as you pivot around to face forward. Rebend into your left knee. Pause right here. Low lunge on Janayasana. Rise the arms alongside the ears. Pull that left hip back, right hip forward. Press through the bottoms of the feet to stay active in the inner thighs. That'll help grow you through the crown of the head. One more breath like this. Next breath, inhale, kiss the palms together, lift the heart. Exhale, right hand down, left arm lifts as you find that low lunge twist. Inhale, lengthen. Again, exhale, rotate open. Keep hugging your left knee into center as you press through the ball mound of the big toe side of the foot. One more breath. Next breath, tuck the right toes under, float that right knee. Keep that right leg active. Right hip, left hip, even. Again, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist it open. Your next breath, circle that left hand down and around, plant through the palm, step your left leg back, high plank. Shift the shoulders over the fingertips, lower down halfway, chaturanga. Flip over the tops of the feet, straight into upward facing dog here, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, once again, roll the body forward, high plank. Shoulders shift over the fingertips, lower down, chaturanga. Flip over the tops of the feet, lift the heart through, up dog. Exhale, downward facing one more time like that, sliding forward, high plank, lower down, 
flip over the tops of the feet, feel the heart through, exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Nice deep inhale, fill the breath up. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Once again, inhale, fill it up. Exhale, big sigh, let it go. On your next breath, inhale, right leg floats to the sky. Slide the body forward, right knee into the nose, shoulders over wrists. Step the foot in between the hands. Soften that left knee down. So we're going back through this a little quicker as we add on. Inhale, dip the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, straighten the right leg, hip shift back. Inhale, lift the heart, pivot around to the side, come into gate pose. Blocks come with you just in case you need them. <laughs> Inhale, arms rise up there. Exhale, drop that right hand down, left arm up and over. Rise it up, drop your left hand down, right arm up and over. I want you to pause right here, come into a modified Vashi Stasana. From here, I want you to rise it up, come into that gate pose. Bring that left hand down. This time, float that right leg up as you come into modified Vashi. So we're adding on, right leg down, left arm up and over. And bring that left hand down, right arm up as that right leg lifts. Bring that right leg down, right hand down, left arm up. Yeah, so this is our flow now as we add on. Lifting the right leg each time, starting to activate the obliques, the hips, outer, inner thighs there, and the glutes. Beautiful. We've got it here for four. Three. You can still use that block under the left hand if that helps as well to add a little bit more length. Otherwise, just taking it down each time for modify to float that right leg up. And last one. I want you to pause right here. Now keep that right leg lifted. Send that right arm alongside the ear. Inhale, grow long through the entire side body. Exhale, elbow and knee intersect. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow and knee meet together. Inhale, grow long. Exhale, hug it in. Beautiful. Inhale, extend. And exhale, bend. Take two more like this. Inhale. Exhale, bring it in. So we contract the waistline. Inhale. And exhale. Fantastic. Lengthen the arm. Lengthen the leg. I'm going to have you bring that right hand to the hip. Or you can extend it up overhead, whatever is appropriate for you, calling to you. I'm taking mine to the hip. Take these right toes, tap them down and around in front of you, and then big exhale, rainbow behind you. Lift it up and around. You have that block there so you can see. <laughs> Hopefully those toes aren't just dragging on the earth, right? It's a little test of honesty there. How high are you lifting your leg? How much are you activating that glute? Yeah. Rainbow in front. And back. Keep hugging that left glute in. Fantastic. Stay with it here for four. Keep drawing that navel to spine for three. For two. Last one. Tap. Lift and rainbow it around. Beautiful. Bring that right leg back up through center. Tap it down. Exhale up. Down. And yet down exhale down you've got it stay with it beautiful stay with me here keep it going we're here for four three for two and one hold that right leg up point the toes little pulls up 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 for eight seven six five four three two, one, just hold it for four, three, two, one, Whew. drop that right foot down, nice job, rise it all the way back around, take that block with you as you pivot to face forward once again, rebend into your right knee, and plant the left palm down, send that right arm up, find the twist, once again, tuck the toes under here, inhale, lengthen, exhale, rotate open, again, as we add on, roll to the outer edge of your left foot, and send that right leg back, to a Vashi Stasana, full Vashi. You can keep that right foot in front of the left here. Inhale, lengthen. 
Good, exhale, twist the heart open, staying active in the upper back muscles to help keep you lifted as well as the waistline. Let's take that right leg, float it up on your next breath. Exhale, draw the right knee into the chest. Bring your right hand down, give it a round, take the right leg out, come into star pose, send that left arm up and overhead. Let's pause, breathe into the side body, inhale, lengthen, exhale, open, one more breath here. And we're gonna continue to play with that. Now bring that left hand down, kick that right leg back into Vashi Stasana, right arm up. Float the right leg, hug the right knee into the chest, circle right hand down and around, kick it out to the side, star pose. Sweep the left hand down, right knee lifts, kick it back, side plank. Circle it down, as you float that right leg up, knee into the chest, kick it out to the side. Left arm up and over, same thing. A couple more rounds like this. Working those obliques, that waistline, right leg floats. Circle right hand down, right knee in, star pose. Last two rounds, float that left, uh, right leg up, kick it back, side plank. Beautiful. Yes. Stay with me. One last breath here, or one last round, I should say. Right leg floats, right knee in, right hand down. Kick it out, star. Time circle that left hand down and around. Kick that right leg back. Come into a three-legged plank pose and keep your right leg lifted. Point through the toes. Tap the toes down. Exhale, shh, down, shh, down, shh. Firing up the top of that glute. Shh, down, shh, yes, down, shh, you got it. Shh, stay with it, four, shh, for three, shh, two, exhale, shh, and one. Beautiful, lower down, chaturanga. Flip over the feet, lift the heart, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Nice deep inhale, fill it up. Exhale, big sigh, let it go. So again, inhale, fill it up. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Next breath, inhale, left leg floats to the sky. Light it forward. Exhale, left knee into the nose and step the foot through. Soften that right knee down. Grab your blocks. Inhale, dip the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, shift the hips back. Straighten into your left leg. Inhale, lift the heart up. Pivot around to the side. Come into gate pose here. Take that left hand down. Right arm up and over. Bring it up. Right hand down. Left arm up and over. We're going to move that walk out from underneath that right hand unless it still works for you to have that there. Coming into that modified Vashi Stasana. Beautiful. Once you that, bring the hand down, right hand down, start to lift that left leg up and rise it up as you come into gate pose and that right arm up and overhead. Bring it back up, take right hand down as that left arm goes overhead, left leg lifts. And keep that going. Right hand down, firing up those obliques, inner outer thighs, left leg lifts. Moving at your pace, your breath, your movement. Keep hugging that right glute in as you move through this. Last couple rounds here. Beautiful. And from there, we're going to bring that right hand back down. Come into modified Vashi Stasana here. And float the left leg up to the sky. Or not up to the sky, but up to hip height there. And then take that arm alongside the ear, left arm alongside the ear. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, elbow and knee tap in. Inhale to extend, exhale, elbow and knee bend. So again, inhale, grow long. Exhale, hug it in. Take a few more rounds like this. Again, as we're firing up those obliques. Inhale and exhale. 
Last couple of rounds. Inhale, keep hugging that right glute in. Exhale, last one. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, elbow and knee meet together. Lengthen the arm, lengthen the leg. Take that arm overhead or maybe the hand to the hip here. Let's bring those left toes out in front of you. Exhale, big rainbow around, lifting from that glute. Those inner thighs, those outer thighs. As you hug that right hip in. You got it. Stay with it. Yes. Tap and rainbow around. So make sure we're lifting that leg up nice and high. We're not just dragging the toes on the mat here. I know muscles start to feel it. Just want to drag those toes. Big last two rounds. You should feel that right glute activating just as much to hug into the center. And then bring that leg up and tap the toes down. Exhale, up, down. Yes, beautiful, down. Getting into that side booty area. Down. You got it, stay with it here. Keep it going for four, for three, two, and one. Keep that left leg lifted, lift it up. Toes are pointed, up, up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, drop that foot down, rise it all the way up, and pivot back around. So you're coming to face forward in that low lunge with your left knee bent. Right palm plant, left arm lifts, find a twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, open. This time tuck those right toes under, float that right knee up off the mat. Roll to the outer edge of your right foot, send that left leg back in front of the right foot for modified Vashi, or not modified, full Vashi, side plank. Inhale, exhale, open up a little bit more towards the sky. Beautiful, from here, float that left foot, hug the left knee in, left palm plants as you twist around to the Opposite side, right side, kick the left leg out. Come into Fallen Star for this first one. We're gonna send the arm overhead, pause, breathe into it, into the side body. Take one more breath like this. And then bring that right hand down, kick that left leg back, Vashi Stasana. Float the foot, hug the knee in, left hand down, left leg kicks out. Circle it around, plant the palm, bring it up, kick it back, yes. Float it, bring it in, kick it out to the side, and circle it around. Keep that going. Left leg floats, knee in, left hand down, left leg kicks, right arm up. Stay with it here. Beautiful, we're almost there. Give me three more. Load it, knee in, for two, you've got it, stay with it. That left leg back, last one, we'll knee up, twist around, kick it out to the side. Right arm up, plant the palm this time, kick your left leg back, high plank, point through the toes, stay here, tap the toes down, exhale up, down, 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 you got it, stay with it, activating that glute. Stay with me here. We're almost there for four, for three, two, and one. Beautiful. Lower down, Chaturanga. Flip over the feet, up dog, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, downward facing dog. Auto Mukha, Svanasana. Nice deep inhale, fill the breath up. Exhale, big sigh, let it go. Inhale, fill it up. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Take the knees down, big toes together. Pause for a few rounds of breath in child's pose. Maybe you're running the arms alongside the hips. Slow down the breath, nice deep inhales for the count of four to six seconds. Nice full exhales. Again, inhale deeply, fully. Exhale completely. 
can come back into you, your intention. Can you check in? Notice what's different about you, your body right now in this moment and that first moment that you checked in here today. Take one more breath here. From here, extend the arms out overhead. Slide it back forward onto the hands and the knees, table pose, plant down through the palms, tuck the toes, lift the knees, high plank pose. Shoulders shift over the fingertips and slowly lower all the way down to the mat. When you get to the bottom, untuck the toes once again. You can move blocks out of the way so you have some room here. Bring the forehead down, send the arms overhead. Take the pinky fingers down, thumb fingers up. I want you to take an inhale and as you exhale, pull your belly button up towards the spine, lift it off your mat, and then take the front ribs and pick them up to the back of the body. Keep your pubic bone pressing into the mat so you're activating your core here, keeping that low back protected and nice and long. Let's float the arms, float the legs. Move into swimmers. Take an inhale and tap your left toes down, your right pinky down. Exhale, bring it up. Now alternate. Right foot down, left arm down. Exhale, up. So alternating right and left. Tap, tap. Yes, tap, starting to activate that back body and those glutes in the upper top area. Top upper area, yes. Tap, exhale, tap, shoulders down the back, away from the ears, tap, tap. You got it, stay with it. Tugging the shoulders down the back. It's so easy to have them hike up here. Keep it going, keep it going for eight, seven. You got it, stay with it. Five, for four, three, two, and one. Just hold everything up, little pulls up, up, up with the whole arms and legs, whole body here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up on one. Try to get those quads up off the earth for four, three, two, one. Let it go. Turn the gaze to the right and run the arms alongside the hips. And come back through center. I'm going to have you take the hands underneath the forehead. Forehead down on top of the hands. Bend the elbows out to the side. Bend your knees. Bring your heels together and toes together. Keep the toes pointed here today for these heel beats. Again, navel in, front ribs lift up. Inhale, exhale, lift the thighs up off the earth. Pointing those toes up. And you want to tap your big toe on the ceiling. Exhale, and yes. Want those toes pointed. Heels are together. Ball, toe, big toe, ball, knuckles are together. I don't know, does that make sense? Hopefully <laughs> that makes sense. Exhale. Yes, stay with it. And you got it. Eight. Keep it going for seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Double time. Lift it up. 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 Stay with me for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Keep those legs lifted. Again, navel in, front ribs pull to the back of the body. Now draw those knees in, little scissor in. Those toes are still pointed. Inner sides of the feet are touching the inner heel area and that side ball of the foot. So your feet aren't like flat together like they would be in a Baddha Konasana. It's just that inner lining of the feet. Exhale. Stay with it. Eight and seven. Keep scissoring for six. You can get those quads up off the earth a little bit more for three, two, and one. Double time. Squeeze it in, in, in for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up for four. Lift up higher for three. Squeeze the heels in a little closer to the butt for two. Let it go on one. Drop the thighs down. Lengthen the legs out. And turn the gaze to the left. Run the arms alongside the hips. Little wiggle, wiggle of the hip side to side. 
and come back in through center. Then I want you to bend into your knees. Reach for the ankles or the tops of the feet. Come into a bow pose. First, exhale to stay layer out. On the inhale, lift the heart up, float the thighs up, the shins up, the wall behind you. Pull the shoulders stay on the back. If you want to find a rocking bow here, massaging out the abs, please feel free. Yeah. Let's take one more breath like this. We'll take an inhale without flopping down, slowly lower down. Turn the gaze back to the right. And back to the left. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, plant down through the palms, press yourself back, child's pose. Let's bring those knees together for this child's pose. Give the low back a little love there, a little protection. And let the glutes drop to the heels. And slowly roll it up, one vertebrae at a time. When you get to the top, shift the hips off to the right. Swing the legs around to the left in front of you. Let's plant down through the feet. Send the fingertips forward. Slowly lower all the way down onto the mat. I'm going to do a little bit of core work right here right now. So bend those knees to start. Just to, again, find the spine. Tailbone presses into the earth. Belly button, as you exhale, softens and draws to the back of the body. Front ribs knit in and pull back towards the mat. From here, I want you to take your legs, bring them in, hands around your shins or your calves there. Lift the head and shoulders. Beautiful. Inhale, lengthen everything out. Exhale, sweep it around. Double leg stretch. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Yes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Keep that core engaged. And inhale and yes stay with it here we're going for six for five four keep those inner thighs squeezing towards one another for three two and one exhale beautiful let the head and shoulders go extend the legs up towards the ceiling heels together toes three to four inches apart hands behind the head Take an inhale, exhale, lift the head and shoulders. This time, lower the legs down. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. Bring the legs back up, down, keep them straight, double legs, straight leg. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Yes, inhale, down, two, Three, four, exhale. Stay with me. Inhale down. Two, three, four, exhale. For three, inhale down. Two, three, four, exhale. Keep that chin off the chest like you have an orange underneath it. Down. Two, three, four, exhale. Knitting those hip ribs in, bringing it up. Last one down. Two, Three, four, exhale. Beautiful. Lower the head and shoulders. Hug the knees into the chest here for just a moment. Let's send those legs up to the sky. Heels up together, toes apart once again. This time I'm going to have you keep your head down. You can tee the arms out to the side. We go cross, cross, open. Put the toes pointed on the legs. Cross, cross, open. Cross, cross, open. So this fires up not only the core the abs, the obliques, those deep transverse abdominus muscles, pelvic floor muscles, but it also gets your inner thighs quite well here. Cross, cross, open. Cross, cross, open. Cross, cross, open. Yes. Use your breath. Yeah. That exhale is going to help knit everything in. I want you to keep that whole mid torso of the body anchored onto the mat there like you're being belted down with cross cross open cross cross open keep it going cross cross open we're here for four three two 
two, one. Keep it open, little pulse up and up. Hit those inner thighs. Exhale, exhale for eight, seven, six. Keep that exhale going. You've got this. Stay with it for three, two, and one. Bring it in all the way. Lift the legs up. Hug the knees into the chest. Wrap around the shins. Nice job. <laughs> Rock side to side. I'm going to have you do one more core work exercise here. Crisscross. It's like yogi bicycles, but so much slower. Knees over the hips. Take an inhale. Exhale. Lift the head and shoulders. Take an inhale. Exhale. Twist to the left leg. Then your right leg out. Inhale through center. Exhale. Nice and slow. Inhale through center. Exhale. Inhale through center. Exhale. Twist. Try to get that elbow to meet the knee each time. And yes. Inhale. Exhale. You got it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale, keep it going. This is it, our last little bit. You can do this, stay with me. And we're here for four, three, for two, and one. Bring it back in through center, cross back over, exhale, back over to that left side, extend the right leg out, and have you take both hands outside that left leg, exhale, little pulse up and up, maybe you extend that leg out, little ch, ch, stay with it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bend that left knee, bring that right knee in, come through center, take an inhale, exhale, twist to the, to the other side, lengthen the left leg out, hands outside that right leg, exhale up, little pulse, maybe you stay here, maybe you lengthen that right leg out, exhale, and stay with it, we're almost there, you've got this, four, three, two, and one, re-bend the knee, re-bend that left knee, come through center, and lower down, hug the knees into the chest, that is all, rock it out side to side, nice work. Let's take whew, the feet down to the mat. Press into the feet. Keep the elbows down and lift the hips up. Yeah. From here, walk that right elbow in, left elbow in. Maybe you want to take the arms underneath for a bridge pose and interlace the knuckles at the lower back. And draw the knuckles towards the heels. Shine the heart towards the world behind you. Take one more breath here. Release the inner lace. Slowly lower all the way down to the mat. Take the soles of your feet together. Let the knees fall open. Supta Baddha Konasana. One hand to the heart. One hand to the navel. Take one more breath here. And take the hands outside the knees. Lift the knees up toward the ceiling. Middle fingers graze the backs of the heels once again. As you press into the feet, lift the hips up. Find that bridge pose. And this time walk the left shoulder under the body, then the right. Switch the awkward grip if you took the interlace on that first side. And take it with the opposite thumb on top here. Keep hugging those inner thighs in towards one another. And shining the heart to the world behind you for one more breath. Next breath, release the interlace and slowly lower all the way down to the mat. Again, hug those knees into the chest, rock side to side, release your lower back. Let's keep that right knee hugging in, lengthen the left leg out, shift the hips off to the right as you inhale, exhale, twist the right knee across the body to the left. We come into a supine spinal twist here and we're going to build on this. So you have the option to stay right here, this might be enough for you. If you want to get a stretch into that outer hip area that we worked so much today, you can extend your right leg out to the side. Maybe you're grabbing the hand to the foot, maybe to the calf. Maybe you want to bend into that back knee and grab the top of the foot for 
a quad stretch, that's optional. I'm just gonna recommend taking the leg out to the side for this hip stretch right here in this twist. Now that right shoulder to fall towards the earth. The more you flex that right foot here, the more you're gonna feel that in this whole outer hip and glute area. Take one more breath like this. And let's re-bend that right knee, hug the right knee back into the chest, hug the left knee back into the chest. A little rock side to side and keep that left knee hugging in. Extend that right leg out as you shift the hips off to the left, inhale. Exhale, twist the left knee across the body to the right for that supine twist. And maybe you're staying here, or if you did it on the first side, kick the left leg out. Maybe you're reaching for the foot, the ankle, or the calf. And if you wanted that optional quad stretch as well, you can always bend that bottom knee, that right knee, and grab the top of the foot if you did that on the first side. I'm thinking about your intention, right? Staying curious. <laughs> what happens when you slow down? How does it feel? How do you respond differently than in the moments that are challenging, more challenging physically? Maybe these slower moments are a little bit more challenging mentally. Take one more breath here. So if you have that right leg, you'll release that. And let's let go of the left foot as we bend into the knee. Bring that left knee back into the chest, the right knee back into the chest for a gentle rock side to side one final time. This time take a nice deep inhale, lift the forehead up to the knees, squeeze everything into a tiny little ball, filling up a little bit higher, a little tighter as you squeeze in. One more sip of air. Exhale, sigh it out, let it all fall open. Pause here in stillness, Shavasana. On your next breath, wiggling into the fingers, the toes. And take a nice deep inhale, stretch the arms overhead, and stretch from the fingertips through the body to the toe tip. Nice full body stretch as if it's the first one you're taking today. And bend the knees, drop the feet onto the mat. As you rock over to the right side, take a moment, pause in fetal position, pose of new beginning. Just take a moment to honor this new beginning here for you, right here, right now. And with your eyes closed, press up to a cross-legged seated position on your mat. Let's bring the palms together at heart center. Thumbs rest against the heart in prayer position, Anjali Mudra. I'm taking a moment to have gratitude for yourself for showing up on your mat today, taking the time out of your day to connect your mind, your body, your spirit, and your breath together as one. And we'll come back into that intention that you set, curiosity, exploration, just Ask yourself right now what it was that you learned in this last hour with you, with yourself, on your mat. And if you completely forgot, that's okay, right? It's not always easy, especially when we're distracted, to really tune in, to become mindful, aware, and truly acknowledge what's going on within. Sometimes even in that external world, we just get so caught up moving quickly from moment to moment, motion to motion, that we forget to truly explore the moments that we're living in. 
just keeping that awareness with you as you walk throughout the rest of your day, seeing what you can notice, something do, new, something different than maybe you've ever seen before or felt before. Keeping that curiosity alive like a child has within them all the time. And I thank you so much for being here with me, for practicing with me, for sharing your light and energy with me and allowing me to share mine with you. Namaste.